Welcome everybody to race number five of the Airlift Classic Convertible Series. We're here at Talladega Super Speedway. Al Lagasse is on pole for today's race alongside Colin Cropley. A very close battle for the pole. As we're about to get the race command, here's the full qualifying results. Alright, engines fired up. We are ready to go. So Colin Cropley missing the pole by a thousandth of a second, and Casey Nandico missing out by two thousandths of a second. Not too crazy. Because sometimes we see three-way ties. Maybe not for the pole, but it's still pretty close. So again, we're bending the rules a little bit by going to a track that the Convertos have never raced on and never exist while they were still a series. Yeah, a lot of the old tracks hold, don't hold all the cars, all 33 cars. Figuring out if we should do qualifying races or should we just not go there at all. Martinsville's one of them. I might have put too many cars for this season. Well, we ran Talladega last time. Uh, why not do it again? Not everything has to be super accurate. So, Al Agassi, uh, so far his season hasn't been going so well. He has yet to score a single top 10 finish, sitting 30th in the points. But today he's sitting on the pole. But, uh, of course, especially tracks at Talladega, it doesn't really matter where you start. Biggest mover was uh, Noel Holiday with her victory at Darlington Raceway, moving up 13 positions. Up to ninth. It appears that uh, Ryan Butcher, Alexander Rowe, both those drivers losing eight spots, as well as Lucas, Tim Randolph, get a lot of drivers lost eight spots, the most positions lost. As the pace car is already pulled in, we're ready to race here at Talladega. Here we go. Green flag is waving, and we're underway. Great start for the bottom line. Four wide already, doesn't last for too long. Already making aggressive moves here. Down the back straight away they go. Casey Nanico quickly to the bottom. He's got plenty of help. He should be able to take the lead easily. Luke Contreras on a 94. They're in second. But I say Darlington, Atlanta. Why am I saying Darlington for Atlanta Raceway? Yeah, I just remembered. I didn't do a race yesterday. Luke Contreras, no, no, Luke Contreras, the turn-up car. Giorgio Tasumo, Tasumi, I don't know. Still can't pronounce that name. Well, lead lap number one. Connor Breeden in the three. Hey, he, he's a Darlington winner. Four wide, three rows deep. Plenty of room, but still a little bit iffy. Oh, got two cars. Oh, they're fully committed to the apron of the racetrack. I think they're scrambling. Just got way too crazy. Oh, man. Imagine driving convertibles here at Talladega. Oh, uh, and they did at Daytona, but uh, Talladega being bigger, although it should be less scary because it's wider. Got plenty more room to race. All right, they're able to gather it back up. A few cars separated from the pack, but that's okay. Better than a wreck race car. At the line, Blazy Batar might have led that one, and he does. Fisher in the 48 now, looking for the race lead. Four follows Fisher up to the outside. Another car on the apron. He looks to the inside now. Just peeking though. Now, now he's fully committed. 
Oh, careful. Call on the apron like that. Still on the apron, the seven. Still there, trying to get back without causing a wreck. Stephen Oaks. Here is the four. The 252 of Tokuyami on the bottom. Leading this lap. Lucas gets it. Contreras, Colby, Randolph on the inside. A whole line of drivers on the bottom line. Heard a car scrape the wall and oh, there they go. Couple of cars spinning out. Most of them able to avoid it. And we're under caution. Tim Randolph in the 19 car on the bottom. Getting, has three cars behind him, leading the bottom line. Here goes the one of David Davison. And now Al Agassi in the 34. Three wide to the stripe. Who's going to take the caution flag? It is going to be Al Agassi in the 34. All right, first caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, let's take a look here. We saw Noah Hawley, the first car to go around. Heard a car scrape the wall as well. Who would that be? The 4 and the 48. Uh, yeah. So they hit the wall. So Holiday and a few others checked up. The 26 of Hodak from the TV1 or maybe the Spectator. Or, no, how about the helicopter view? Yeah, they thought they were going to cut, cut down, cause a wreck. They checked up and... They end up spinning out instead. Side of the four. Okay, who was going to bounce off the wall, look like. Yeah, that happened right in the middle of the pack, but... Yeah, they didn't get that... It wasn't a severe wreck. No, not at all. Most of them just went for a spin. And the rest were able to get away. Yeah, this was not a big wreck at all. It's incredible. So there's Alexander Rowe. He gets turned. Gets hit a few times, but he should be alright. They should all be alright. Yeah, I didn't see any big impacts or anything like that. Let's take a look at this again. It's right on board. How about the 49 car? Casey Nanico. Got the 33 cut down in front. And you can see there, right around there, there's a 4 bouncing off the wall. So, they yeah, created a panic. Yeah, there's no way they could be taking race like that for the rest of the race without wrecking. That would be incredible if they did, but yeah, it's not likely that they will. Alright, first caution of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go green here. So, three cars actually retired from that wreck. Yeah, I thought they'll be alright. So, the 49, the 33, and the 2, they are now out of the race. 30 cars remaining on the racetrack. So, they might have picked up a bit more damage than we thought. The 34 Al Legacy leading us to the green flag. Here we go. Green flag. We're back underway. Great restart for Al Legacy. 12 cards at the bottom. Cole Colby, some out keys. They stay to the bottom line. 12 stays with the leader, Richard Anderson. Now it goes to the bottom, to the inside. Already starting to bunch up. Al Legacy with the push. Anderson didn't have anyone helping him. But is it enough to clear? Should cut to the inside. Try to block him. He doesn't. Not clear, I don't think. Now the 12 being forced in the middle of some out keys. Leaves the bottom line. Legacy gonna... Nope. So uh, too late that time. He might have got taken out if he went any closer. Someone just touched the wall there, but... They're okay. Oh, there goes another car on the apron. 
Oh, weaving everywhere. Oh, finally found his room. So luckily, able to merge back up without having to stay on the apron due to turns. Blake Peters in the eight, now to the front. The 22 car. That is uh, Noah Swell. See Jeff Scott, and we see five wide racing. Might get a little cramped. Okay, they're back to four wide. That was quick. Three wide. Three wide's perfectly fine. Who's the, who is the leader now? I think it's uh, Noah Swell. He's got the lead. Four wide for the race lead. Uh, no, not quite. 86 was stuck right in the, right in the middle, between the middle. But they're four wide once again. 64 coming up. There's Fisher. And the 48. Three for the lead. Who will lead this one? That was close. Who would it be? 55. Blazy Batar. Within the thousands of a second. Now Fisher has it. The 44 behind him. They got some out keys. Yeah, now he is sort of on the apron. Now mostly on the apron. He's got room. But he stays on it. Still on it here. Yeah, he's got plenty of room to slide up now. He should be okay. Jeff Scott being held up because of that. Didn't lose too much ground. They're still within the pack. The one car, David Davison. Now to the front. Here comes Brad Chesson in the 77. Oh, five cars around. And a few others. The 48 of Fisher. Oh. Oh, man. What a save. That was incredible. More contact. Oh, big hit. Derek Edison in the 32. Somehow keys up in smoke. Racing it back to the line here. Leader is currently Brad Cheston. Luke Gonteras in the 94. Will he try to get the lead? Brad Cheston with the block. Yeah, it should be easy for Cheston to take this yellow. Only five cars in this elite pack for now. Racing back to the yellow. And there it is. Caution is out. Second yellow of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, so let's take a look here. Once again, we'll start off with the helicopter cam. We'll see oh, Cole Colby. Looks like it got a little too close to the outside line. Ends up spinning the five car around. And again, not a lot of cars involved. Even less cars, although it probably does take a big hit. And oh, somehow Keys, Blake Peters, he got swept in it. So that's where Keys got his damage. And sliding back down. Oh, head on. Straight head on impact there. And Alexander Rota happened right in front of him. Big wreck. Big hit. Man, that's got to hurt. So 170 miles an hour. My God. Huge hit. Five car cropper. You could see. Priest of the front end in the air, but you see the five, it doesn't look like it has damage, so yeah, we know a beta model. The beta version of the mod. And then take a look at this save by Rabian Fisher. Incredible driving. I thought that 48 was gonna slide back up. It, and someone's gonna rear end him. Yeah, that's Tim Randolph on the 19. Oh, nearly going around. Then he goes spinning and look at this. Catch the 12 car in a legacy. Incredible wreck avoidance by a lot of drivers. Yeah, they really don't want to wreck today. They're trying to keep the wrecking to, them, to a minimum. Watch this from Al uh, roof cam on board. Man, that was super close. He's lucky that all the drivers were all, all over the place. Because we're all trying to avoid the wreck with Colin Cropley spinning in front of the field. So yeah, those are these two definitely out of the race as well as somehow keys. Looks like it's gonna be another three cars. 
Alright, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, two to go when I take the green flag. Yeah, Alright, so the seven of Oaks with a tire. And the eight car with the fuel leak. Okay. So, uh, wow, well, Blake Peters. I didn't think that hit was that big. So that's five cars out of the race. Three because of a wreck. Maybe four. If you want to include Peters. Because he did get caught up in that crash. But alright. Two to go and he take the green flag. Brad Cheston is the leader. Followed by Luke Contreras, Tokuyami. Giorgio Tosumi, I think. I'm just guessing, you know. David Davison in fifth. Alright, so. Here we go. Will we see another yellow? Maybe. Maybe not. Here we go. Green flag is out. Contreras quickly jumps to the top. Got no help. He got the better restart. But he's going to get beat in the turn one. That cost him a few positions there. Here go the 252 of Tokoyami and David Davison. They're going to make it three wide for the race lead. 44 appears to be slow. Anything wrong? Yeah, it looks like he's holding up a couple, uh, the uh, 47. Doesn't say anything. Just probably just lost touch. Just couldn't get into the draft. And look how quickly they pack up. Because they know they're coming to the white flag. One more lap to go. David Davison goes top to bottom. Or like in the middle. Here's Blazey Vitar in the 55. Kind of got pushed out of there. One more lap to go. Four wide here. 22 of no swell. Here he comes. Tim Randolph in the 19. Oh. Three cars scraping the wall there. Almost caused the wreck. I think Davidson's got this. Maybe Tim Randolph has a big help. Big push from Cole Colby. And Cole Colby is very aggressive. And big run for Tim Randolph. It's not over yet. Tim Randolph one day Tona. Now trying to win Talladega. Trying to win the two big super speedways. Up to 64 with issues. Quickly coming down pit road. Here comes Connor Breen with a big head of steam. He looks like he's going to take it. Coming to the checkered flag at the line. Connor Breen with the win. Second win of the season. And oh, and they're wrecking to the line. Right after the line. Noah Swell around. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, the 10 just catches. Caught him. And they wreck coming to the line. Yeah, there are like five wide leading against each other. Yeah, at least oh, they waited till crossing the start finish line first. Before wrecking the trial. That would probably make it a more exciting finish. But wow, Connor Breeden in the three. Oh, that's not Connor Breeden. There he is. Connor Breeden with win number two. Yeah, I didn't think they had that big of a run. Thought Tim Randall was going to get it, and then Connor Breeden is there. We'll take a look at the full race results first. So, Connor Breeden with the win. Leading, I believe, only that lap. Uh, this So, this time, yeah, he steals a win today. Uh, winning Darlington. He had a. One more dominating performance, but he snuck his way today here at Talladega. Richie Hiroshi in the 11, finishing second. Tim Randolph, third. Al Agassi, fourth. Jeff Scott, fifth. Cole Colby, sixth. David Davis in seventh. Blazey Buttar, eighth. Cheka Lightning plays ninth. And Noah Swell, finishing tenth in the 64, had a tire go down right at the end. 24 cars finished the race. Here's the rest of the race results. And yeah, what a finish. What a wild one right there at the end. Not too many big wrecks today, but... Okay, here they come to the line. Tim Randolph mistakenly taking the middle line there. Well, it looks like he was trying to maybe block the top because we've seen drivers. Yeah, they can get a big run on the top lane to even do the trial. Well, well yeah, the one of David Davidson, he pretty much goes to the wall. He didn't even get a top five finish, and then Connor Reen sees the opening. He had all the momentum, all the help, and look at the 77 and the 86. There are five wide to the line. There's the 11. And here's the wreck. Yeah, there are 
they were racing hard there at the end. Had one more wreck in them. Yeah, most of them just slid up into the wall and kept it straight. The 22 and Noah Swell and the 36. Noah finished 10th. The 99 Anderson just misses it. Just got a little scratch. But uh, Casey does not. Finishing 24th in today's race. Now I got major damage right at the end. So not the team, not what the team wants to see. Noah Swell in the 22. Yeah, he's kind of stuck there. Or he, his car is done as well. So yeah, pretty wild end there. Well, maybe not too wild, but yeah, he got the lead swap twice there on the, on the coming off turn four. So, all right. So that is it here for today. Connor Breen with win number two. We'll take you to victory lane.